So one of the things that I've been wanting to do for my Voron V0 is add a purge bucket, specifically because the Voron V0 has a very small build plate. It only has a 200, or sorry, a 120 millimeter cubed build area. So having a purge tower on there takes up extra space. I'd rather avoid that as much as possible. So uh, I did some research, found a design for a purge bucket that seemed good. We had a nozzle wiper also built in, printed out the pieces here. It's all in ABS. Uh, I just need to assemble it and go from there. I'm gonna pull up the design for it so I can give credit and because I'm gonna need to follow along with the pictures to figure out how to put it together. So give me one second to pull that up. So this is the design that I'm using. It has a purge bucket and a nozzle wiper built in. This is how it will eventually look. Hopefully everything goes well. Um, yeah, I have all of these parts already. So let's get into the assembly. All right, I think I should be good to go. I need to go grab screws, but I always end up needing to grab that. Let's switch back to the overhead camera. Whoops, there we go. Hello. Uh, I was pretty sure I had one of these white ones, the same style that they showed in the instructions. It took me forever to find it but found it, should fit, I gotta check again where exactly I need to cut this, I think I might have cut it a little bit too long, yeah I did. Okay, there we go. Had to cut a little bit more off, but now it's slid in nicely. Cool. So, move these two out of the way. This part I already have mounted in here with screws. I think I need to tighten these screws a little bit. Yeah, the bottom or one of the screws isn't holding anything at all. I think I need to switch the screws out for M3 screws. I think that is what the instructions say. I don't know why I put M2 screws in here, but I did for some reason. Let me grab the right screws.
I do need to have this wire pass through here. It's a really tight gap. Managed to get the wire through. Okay, nice. Very nice, very nice. So the wire goes that way. So I wired this through this piece. So now I need to put the screws back in. understand how you're supposed to fit an M3 screw in this, to be honest. Why do I not have the right? God damn it. Um... If I just go with a M2 and a half. Aha. Maybe 2.5. Yeah, this is going in nicely. These are 10 millimeters though, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be an 8 millimeter. Yeah, according to the instructions. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, it didn't stick out the end. Unless there's something else that needs to screw into the same hole from the top. I don't think there is. I'm gonna just hope that there isn't and keep going. No, Barry, you can't jump up right now. My cat wants to jump on onto the table. He's gonna knock everything down if he jumps up right now. Okay, never mind. He jumped up. Here he goes. On top of everything. Alright. Come on, Barry. 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 Come on. Where are you going? No, you're not allowed to take the servo. I need the servo. No, you're not allowed to take the servo. No. He really wants to take the servo. Alright, so. Screws are in. What is the next step? Stop it. So, I need to install this on here. I had to cut this piece. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can't see it for sure. But I had to cut this piece because for some reason my servo motor came with a slightly wider one than I think Chirpy's servo motor came with because he made the design and this piece has to fit around the servo motor like that and I I mean mine parts already breaking that's why I had to cut the the little gear thing Barry hey hey Oh, I need some PTFE tubing. Hmm. Okay, I'll grab that in a minute. Barry, stop it. My god, his nails are sharp. Um, right, I just want to play this out and kind of think about how. So this piece goes over here, I think. Or no, this is what this is going to attach to. So 
on the other end attaches like that. Hmm. Okay, I got a PTFE tube and a PTFE tube cutter. And Gary thinks it's another toy for him. So, what do I need to do? I need to cut some pieces of this. I think I'm just going to stick one end in here. And then I can just cut it, and then I can cut it shorter after. That's my plan. Because now I can at least, like, test mount the different parts and see how long this actually needs to be. Barry, do you mind? Do you guys see this? Stop it. Stop it. Okay, well, Barry's now on top of the keyboard. This is a real struggle to get this piece on. Barry, you're blocking the entire camera. Like, literally everything. Stop trying to steal things. I finally got the PTFE tube in. That was a massive pain. Barry. Barry, come on. Chill. 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 Relax, bro. Every now and then I have to check that my OBS is still recording because I'm worried that Barry's going to hit some random key on my keyboard and just turn it off somehow. I don't even think I have a shortcut set for that, but if there is, I know Barry would find it somehow. Okay, Barry, that's enough. So here is the nozzle wiper test mounted for the servo motor and right now the wiring is very messy. I know it's just electrical tape down just so that it's not uh, messing with the bed at all or interfering when the bed's homing. Uh, I am having some little problems with wiring it uh, with controlling the servo motor but I think that's going to be mostly addressed in the next video because I do have some other plans for this printer but that requires a bit more explanation and i don't want this video to drag on too long so here is the the nozzle wiper with the purge bucket the idea is basically that it's going to fold out so that the the nozzle can dump these little pe these little bits of filament and like that when i'm doing multicolor prints i don't have to use any of the bed space for a purge tower uh because i can have a purge bucket basically so I'm excited for that, but right now it's not working, and hopefully in the next video we figure that out, and I'm also going to go over some of my other plans for the V0 and other things I'd like to do. Maybe I won't do them, maybe I will, maybe you guys have opinions, but I'll see you there. I hope you enjoyed.